So, you all know, Disney Parks and Resorts began right here in Anaheim. So, it's incredibly important to us that this resort fulfills our guest expectations. And as such, the role of the president of the Disneyland Resort requires a keen appreciation for what makes this place so special, and it carries with it some special responsibilities. I have to tell you, I could not be happier or more confident in the person we have in that role. So here to talk a bit more about what we're up to across the street is the president of the Disney Resort, George Caligridis. So George has been here uh, a little over two years, right? A little over two years. By the way, when George and I walk the site together, it's hard to get through with him because he gets stopped so many times because he's so popular. But uh, how are you feeling about all the changes uh, that are going on here at the Disneyland Resort? Well, you know what? I'm feeling really great. What, what's really fabulous is the guests are already being able to enjoy all the new things at Disney California Adventure. World of Color, Little Mermaid, Silly Symphony Swings, Goofy Sky School, and most recently, I think many of you have had the opportunity to experience the new dining restaurants at Paradise Pier. Right. So, you're the closest to the action. What are you hearing from our guests with all this going on? Well, what I'm hearing is, first of all, the guests are very, very excited. Uh, they have been partners through us, with us throughout this entire expansion project. They've shown intense interest in the work we're doing. And I think more importantly, they've taken all of the construction issues in stride, and they know that at the end of the day, this is gonna be a fantastic project and a better guest experience for everybody. So, one of the things that we've heard from our guests, and actually something that you and Mike Croft and I have been talking about, is that uh, many of them want a deeper and more personal experience with the resort and with the attractions. So now, we've tried to take that feedback seriously. So we're excited to announce that we're working on a series of special experiences that will enable our guests to interact with their favorite attractions and characters in a whole new way. So, imagine having dinner in a haunted mansion with some of our Imagineers. Or, sitting down at a tea party with your two favorite princesses. How about being able to step back in time to experience a Disneyland attraction from yesteryear once again? Like being able to enjoy a planter's punch Tahitian in the Tahitian Terrace, or to be immersed in the pageantry and panorama of America the Beautiful in Circle Vision 360. So it just goes to show you that anything possible at the Disneyland Resort. So, speaking of special experiences, you all know that Club 33 has a really, really long waiting list. So long, in fact, that we stopped adding names a couple of years ago. So, I sort of challenged George and his team to come up with some means of expanding our club offering here at the Disneyland Resort. Now, we're in the early stages, uh, but uh, it's going well, it looks good, and we look forward to sharing more information on that expansion with you in 2012. All right, that was a tease, wasn't it? <laughs> Stay tuned. Trust me, they'll, they'll keep me uh, honest. <laughs> I would believe you. With all that's going on at the California Adventure, uh, we're also pleased to announce that we're going to expand somewhat the boundaries of Fantasyland over at Disneyland with a brand new experience called Fantasy Fair. We're going to transform Carnation Plaza Gardens into a storybook village. It's a square where we'll invite guests of all ages to step into this fairy tale realm. So let's give you a few details, George. So Imagineering is hard at work on the design elements of Fantasy Fair. So the, these renderings are actually early renderings, but they give you an idea of just how charming and how enchanting it's going to be. At the heart of Fantasy Fair is Tangled Tower. It's an iconic sculpture inspired by the film that serves as a central gathering point for all. So Bruce and I talked a little bit earlier about how special our, our princess experiences are. Um, so, inside the Royal Princess Hall, a trio of Disney royalty will welcome guests and provide a, a truly personal visit. Not only will it uh, be a beautiful place to capture photos, but it's also going to give families ample time to meet with their favorite princesses. The Fantasy Fair stage will be an incredible new entertainment venue 
that will enable us to bring the stories and inspiring personalities of our fairy tale heroes and heroines to life and to let our guests become part of the story too. Each morning when the park opens, Princess Aurora will welcome her royal guests and invite everyone to gather for a very special celebration. At various times throughout the day, families can join the Royal Ribbon Festival with the Disney Princess and our Royal Court attendants for dancing and celebration. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but at night, Fantasy Fair Stage will still play host to the classic music and dance offerings our guests continue to love. So, for you swing dancers out there, don't worry. Fantasy Fair will feature new food and merchandise offerings, all themed to enhance this new fairy tale experience. Because we know this is the heart of the Disneyland Park, Fantasy Fair will bring our classic characters and stories to life in a new yet timeless way. And we can't wait. We're very excited. Thanks, George. Appreciate Thank it. Take care.